Is there anything more exciting than seeing the home team win at home? I'll take no. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ottawa Red Blacks did exactly what they needed to do, and they defeated the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, sending the Red Blacks to 5-4 and four before their bye, and sending the struggling Rough Riders to 0-9. To, to now, I'll just take a moment and talk about the Rough Riders. Yes, I'll tease them. Yes, I'll tweet and say, get out of town and take your crazy billboards with you, because, as you know, when they come to your town, they usually come with a lot of fanfare. But I'll be the first person to say that this is a team that is a lot better than the record. There were glimpses of hope in the game last night. A missed field goal, an almost touchdown, which would have given them the lead, but it wasn't meant to be. Last year, Ottawa was in a very similar situation where they were losing games that they were in. They were losing games that were close, and they kept coming up on the short end of the stick. So I can appreciate how frustrating it is if you're a Saskatchewan Rough Rider fan to see your team 0-9. But again, I'll be the first person to say you're better than your record, and wish you guys the best of luck down the line. Now, as far as the Red Blacks are concerned, again, one of those games where they bend, but they didn't break. They came out to a big 14-0 lead, and then the offense kind of went flat for uh, for a couple of quarters, and it seemed like, well, what the heck's going on? Until they kicked it into high gear and ended up taking the win, 35-13. Now, there were a couple of miscues here and there. There were a couple of stupid penalties here and there. But at the end of the day, they got the much-needed win. And what a great weekend for the Red Blacks. Not only did they get the win, but on top of that, Toronto lost, Hamilton lost. So Ottawa's still very much in the thick of things. They come back from their bye and they go to BC, and then they go to Saskatchewan before they're back home again to take on Toronto. If Ottawa can put together wins like this on the road, how fantastic would that be? The defense, oh my gosh, can we please talk about the defense? The defense kept them in this game with 10. You didn't, I didn't stutter, and you, you're, you're, you don't have to adjust the volume. 10 quarterback sacks. I can't remember the last time I saw any football game where one team had 10 quarterback sacks now it'll be very easy for people to come along and say well you did beat the worst team in the league but it'll be very easy for me to counter that and say we beat a professional football team and we put up 10 quarterback sacks so when you're regardless of what the record is or regardless of what Saskatchewan's record is they came to play they were just outplayed by the Ottawa Red Blacks so congratulations to Otto. I hope you guys had the opportunity to check this out and enjoy the game. The atmosphere is fantastic. Another sellout at TD Place, and I think that's amazing. It's always great going to games and seeing people who are going to their first game ever, and what a game they got to see. Um, the only thing that we lost last night was one of the members of the cheer and dance team, um, somebody that you've gotten to know through some of these blogs that I've been doing and some of the little fun outtakes that I've been shooting. Uh, Brittany was her last game with the uh, with the Red Blacks as she's going off and um, completing uh, completing medical school. Um, you've seen the segments. I affectionately call her Doctor Britt because in a couple of months that's exactly what she'll be. Um, she's a fantastic example of the determination and the character that make up the members of the Red Blacks cheer and dance team. I wish her nothing but the best. Every time I've ever asked her to come and film something with me or put her in like a little funny situation, whether we're going through the grocery store or f filming a funny little bit, she's always been ready to do it. So I wish her nothing but the best. And regardless of where you go and what you do, you'll always be a member of the Red Blacks family. Ladies and gentlemen, very excited. We've got a buy coming up. So I'm going to keep you guys entertained. I've got a couple of different interviews that I'll be posting over the next uh, over the next couple of weeks. So every few days I'll be posting new interviews. Um, just finished putting up part three of the guys interview. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we've got some more interviews with the ladies coming up. So thanks, uh, thanks in advance for checking that out. As always, if you want to reach out to me, it's pretty easy. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and WittyWittier.com. Thanks so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and that's my view from the 40.